Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, we're continuing with this Ford Fiesta ST3. Um, and I found some more damage. So we need to definitely address that damage really before we carry on. Um, I'll spin you around in a second. I'll show you what's going on, show you what I found. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, just one of them things really just just can't believe I missed it, really. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> it's got to be done. So we can move on. And I don't want to continue until we get that done first. So we've also got to pick up the new wheels, the refurbed wheels. They're done. I need to pick them up today. I'll bring them back. I'll show you how they've come out. So that's good. Uh, the calipers are looking really, really smart though. So I'm really happy with the, with the progress and what's going on with the car, but <clears throat> it's just a bit of a, a bit of a sod really when you find more damage that you didn't expect. Um, but it's the name of the game. It's just, it's just what it is. You have to deal with it. You have to roll, you roll the dice and you have to, you know, just, <laughs> just crack on and carry on. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, so anyway, let's, show you what's going on i'll explain what it is let's do this right just before i show you the damage i found on the car that we need to address first thing uh i just want to quickly show you what i've done to the bumper yesterday so i managed to get um a spotlight fitted i've got loads of them loads of parts for fiestas and you know, I knew I had one of them anyway, so I just chucked it on, cut the screws, job done. Managed to get these little wing uh, connections fitted as well, both sides. And it, all it is is just two screws that holds the um, the mud guard in, the, the, the wheel arch, just just holds it with two screws. So that's that's not a problem. If it was, if these were broke, these little wing parts here that connects this to the wing, then it would have. I wouldn't have tried to um, repair that. It would just would have been a complete new bumper. Uh, change it. Uh, because they're just you just can't repair these but these parts to the to the wing and just never hold so yeah so that's done <clears throat> also got a tire and eye cap for this i had to go main dealer um original ford main dealer part yesterday and uh picked it up ordered a couple of days ago uh 21 pound and then i resprayed it got a little bit of a dust bit there you can see a little dust bit there but apart from that it's come out pretty well so i'll fit that on and then that's it, toe and I done. I cleaned the engine cover, so that's all clean. So that could be ready to go on. But I have found some more damage to this car that we need to address first thing. Um, and basically, when I was doing this, we all know, you've all been watching, this side was where the impact was. So I thought this was where the only damage was, but I was wrong. Um, so you can see that the actual the tire rod and, and and end are pretty straight. Like I don't think they're they're bent. That's bent at all, which is strange, really, because this is where the biggest impact was. But I suppose the the lower wishbone that took the brunt of the uh, impact and the and the force. But then yesterday, when I was getting this coated again, so obviously they're looking really really well, uh, and I wanted to give them another coat just to give it a bit more red. I noticed this tire rod. You can see the bend in that. That's not straight at all. Which is really strange. So it's not the end of the world and it's not a lot of money, but we have got to change um, that tie rod. I'm going, to, I'm going to do the rod, I'm going to do the end, and I'm going to do the other side. So both sides, uh, £60 pound, um, for two tie rods and two tie rod ends, which I thought was a good good little deal, really. 60 quid. Not too much money. A little bit of labour. Um... And uh, those clips at the back, you've got to replace those clips at the back as well. So, uh, which are a bit of a pain, but we'll get them done, get them off. Done loads of these, so it shouldn't really be a massive problem or an issue, but just a little bit of time, sort of going backwards. But I want to get that done first, guys, do you know what I mean? So we can get that done. I'm also going to go and put the wheels up. So I want to get the wheels on. We're going to sort this front end out, pull this out, sort that out, bumper back on. And really sort of try and get this back together. If we can, back on the wheels today. Also, we've got to bleed the brakes, which again, shouldn't take that long. But uh, I want to take this little nipple, this little nipple here. I want to take that out, take it right out, and then blow it right out. On the other side, I took the nipple off, 
and it was blocked. That there, took that off and it was blocked. So I had to get the air, air compressor and blow the crap out of it and then it cleared it. So it just shows you um, <clears throat> the slightest little block can sort of affect the braking system. So I'm going to take all four off, including the front ones, this nipple as well. I'm going to take that completely out and I'm going to make sure that it's free, it's clear, all clean. And then we're going to start doing the actual bleed, the actual system. Someone did comment and say that there was a, you can get a plate that goes over the top of that and a chain that holds it in place. Um, and then that way you can get the actual, um, the actual uh, compressed sort of, <clears throat> it, it holds it tight. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I haven't got a chain. You can't get it, it's like a set, but for, for what it is, if I can get, get help quickly, just bleed the brakes, pump the brakes up and down quickly, it, it shouldn't really take that long. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, one of us will be inside, and then one of the, one, the other person, probably the mechanic at the end of the road, if he can come and give me a hand, or I'll get his, his labourer to help me. Um, it'll just pump the brakes and we'll pump the fluid through and change that. So that's, that, that's got to be done as well that, today, guys, as well if we can. So there's loads going on. Um, <laughs> so let's just, let's just set you up. Let's get cracking. Let's get these tie rods off and the ends because they're on their way from um, the suppliers. And um, yeah, get that done. So let's crack on. We've got a busy day. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, there we go. That is this side off. We can see that it's got, it's not, you know, it is bent, but it's not that bad. That's probably why I didn't notice it, but just that slight will have a big difference, um, yeah, in it. So it's not worth, it's not worth the chance, to be honest with you. They're not, they're not that bad, they don't take that long to do, really. Um, I have checked to make sure that the, the actual, um, pinion in the rack itself is solid there's no play in that bar uh, i've done the steering the other way now um and we'll sort of uh yeah do the other side but i thought um <clears throat> the, the make sure there's no play in it uh in the actual bar and there's not it's absolutely solid so that's um yeah at least that's that's one good thing um hopefully um that's going to be okay but like i said if it needs to be done, we'll do it. So let's move on to the other side and then we can wait for those, the parts to turn up. Get this side done as well, get this side off and then we can wait for the parts. We can jump on the front or something 
um, we'll do that or something. So yeah, let's set you up. Let's keep going. Let's do this. <laughs> Right, there we go guys. Do you know what, it don't take long at all, especially when you've got a ramp like this and you're dealing with, you know, it's just so much easier doing this kind of work. So, yeah, I'm so, when, I, when I do this kind of thing, I think, wow, so glad I've bought one of these ramps, these lifts, because, yeah, it just takes so much more time, um, you know? Makes it a lot easier with this. Anyway, let's <laughs> let me explain what I've done. Um, so yeah, so you can see I've taken it off there. Pretty quick, pretty easy really, especially with this tool as well. It's such a great tool that is. Um, it just pulls it off really, really easy on the ends. <clears throat> That's what the tool's for, it goes through there. And you grab it and it, and it undoes it, which is really good. But what I did was, I counted how many turns taking off the, the end, the, the tie rod. This is the tie rod, that's the tie rod end. So I counted how many turns to take off the end up to the nut. Because basically, I wanna, when the new one comes, I wanna compare it. So I'm gonna lay them next to each other and compare the lengths. Not to try and get it spot on perfect because you're never gonna get it spot on perfect. When it comes to this, you just need to get them as close as you can then take it to have the tracking done. Basically, that's what you've got to do. And that's exactly what I'm going to have done as well after this. But I just think for a guide, it's nice to sort of try and get it as close as you can. Um, and then, yeah, it just helps out long run. But now I'm waiting for the parts to turn up. I think what we'll do now, they shouldn't be that long, but I think it's just worth... I'm not sitting around. Let's crack on. We've got other stuff to do. I want to address this front end um basically so i'm gonna lower the car a little bit support it underneath with the jack strip all these bits off at the front here and have a look and a go at moving this metal bracket onto the slam panel both sides and then connecting the bolt back up in its correct position done it loads of times it's easy to do it, um, and that's what we've got to do we've got to bring it forward a little bit out out towards the front. So, yeah, it's not a lot, I've got to be honest, but it's still enough for me to, <laughs> to notice it and do it, basically. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's getting done. So, let's set you up again. Let's get cracking. Let's get this front end sorted out. Let's do this.
Right, okay guys, quick update. So as you can see, loads of parts off the front end now. Um, intercooler off. And uh, looking at the actual intercooler, it's not that bad. I don't think I need to change this. Got a little bit of a dent there, and a little bit of a dent there, but I don't think it's gonna affect it too much. Like really, it'd, like, it'd be nice to get an, an aftermarket uh, performance in the cooler, you know what I mean, upgrade it or whatever, but it's not really what I want, it's not the road that I'm going down, is it, with this car, really? Don't want to sort of um, mess about a bit too much, changing bits. I just want to keep it, um, you know, pretty much stock, pretty much standard. Um, obviously, apart from me changing discs, pads, painting calipers, I don't want to change anything else. I don't want to upgrade anything. I don't, I just want to keep it exactly how it was come out of the factory, really, apart from red calipers, like I said. Which is only looks. It's not nothing to do with performance or upgrades or mods, is it? It's just, it looks better. So, yeah. But the, basically, the reason why I took most of the trims off and all the plastics and all that sort of stuff off was because it was hiding these two bolts here, these two here. And this is the bracket. This here, this bracket here is connected to the crash bar. And it goes up. You can see that it goes up to there. So that there's like a long bracket that goes up. And it's that piece that needs to come out. Everything else is all right, but that bracket, both sides, they both need to come out. And you can see that this has got a gap here. Now, they're not normally like that. They're a little bit closer. Uh, I have got a, another crash bar down there, but I don't think it's going to be... I don't think it's the same, is it? No, I don't think it's the same. So, um, yeah... But that's all I want to do, is take the crash bar off and then bring those two brackets out. And they're quite flimsy, nothing to them. Um, and then once I push them out, the crash bar can go back on, put it all back together. And it, that all should line up. The bolt should line up. Everything should line up properly now. But what I did was, um, when, I've done, when, I, when I take this crash bar off, I want to put it back as close as I can to... Um, original how it was so basically how I do it is I undo the two bottom bolts each side and take a picture of the position of the bolts you can see where it sits so I take a picture of both sides and then when I put the crash bar back on I'm going to put those positions the same and <laughs> technically that should be in the right correct position um, where it is but you know you never know what happens, but let's, that's, 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 it's happened, I've done it before, and it's worked out really well, and it's come off as it should do. Uh, also, I've got to disconnect this as well, this top bracket, so I'll disconnect it from there, and uh, that's it. It's just two screws there, two screws there, two bolts each side at the top, and, and then that should, that, sh that crash bar should come off, but we need to get it lower, support it with the, cr the, the jack, and then we can remove it. So that's the next step. Let's keep going. Let's do that now. Let's do this.
Right, okay guys, really making some progress on this one now. Um, I had to take it off twice, basically. Um, I wasn't happy with the position of that bracket when I moved it out, um, but now, yeah, it's uh, it's sitting absolutely lovely. Let me show you the other side. I'll put the light on. I'll show you the other side. So it's sitting absolutely lovely in the position where it was close. You can see that the bracket there is... That's where it basically should be. There should be a slight gap between the bracket and the crash bar itself um, all the way down. Um, and that's exactly where it is. So I'm a lot happier, the position of that now. Um, and then we can now continue to move on. I have put the light in place on the, this side. Um, and it, again, all lines up. All the gaps are really, really good. This, you know, the position of the screws are really good position. So, yeah, a lot, lot, a lot, lot happier now. Um, and the other good thing, guys, I just picked up these wheels for this car. Um, unbelievable. Honestly, check these, these wheels out. I cannot be happier with these wheels the way they've come out. Look at them. Beautiful. Exactly what I was looking for. You know, this is what they kind of come out at a factory. But absolutely beautiful now. All matching. Um, all been repaired. All been stripped back, powder coated. And obviously the new Yoko proxies uh, fitted as well. And all four of the tyres. Um, all four of the wheels now. So... Oh, it's just, it's just unbelievable. The, the, I just can't, honestly, just just words. Just can't, I can't find the words to, to explain how, how good they look. Um, so once, they, once they're on this car, um, you know, with all, all the braking pad discs I've done and, and the system and, you know, everything I've done to it, this just sets the car off completely. Um, I was speaking to the guy as well at the... Uh, that does me um, uh, refurbs, alloy wheel -wheel refurbs, and he was telling me about these tires because I said to him like they're, they're like split, different tread there to there, uh, and he said this side is for water displacement uh, once they go down the road. Um, you, so you're not just relying on one set of tread. He's got there's another set here so that the water can displace in a, the correct manner. Um, you have to fit them. Um, like see, it says outside here. So you have to fit the tire. So this is the outside um, on each one, which is what he's done. But guys, what do you think about them? <sighs> just every time I get these wheels done, just amazes me, honestly. <laughs> just it's, it's what sets the car off, I think, alloys. Um, when they're absolutely brand new or been refurbed, it, it's just what makes them just, yeah, just, just gives them that little bit of an edge. Um, when they're when they're brand when they're they, you know they've been <laughs> refurbed like this and with them tires just incredible this car is going to be an absolute weapon when i'm finished with it um and it's going to be great the, the break the stopping you know on the brakes and that sort of stuff it's going to be fantastic now now i'm happy that that's moved forward as well it's in the right position so i'm really really happy with that we can now move forward with this one i'll put the light in place um i've had the parts delivered as well so i've got the track rods and the rod ends here for both sides and some some uh, some brackets for these um gators dust guard gator things so yeah um we're gonna crack on there and get this side of it done get that in place and then once that's in place um <sighs> no we can't fit the wheels yet. <laughs> i really want to put them wheels on i really want to put them on you don't know how <laughs> how hard it is for me not to just to put them on right now and have a look. But I want to make sure we do it in the right order um, and they're just not ready to go on yet. But hopefully today, guys, we can get them on. Fingers crossed we can. Let's keep going. Let's see what we can get done. But drop me a comment and let me know what you think about these because unbelievable. And for £200 is what he charged me for these wheels. And that was to remove the old ones fit the new tyres, clean them all up, get the curbing done, sort all the damage out, um, acid dip the whole whole lot of tyres, whole lot of wheels, and then powder coat this colour. It just looks really, really good. Um, and I said to him, can, I, can you make sure that I have the, the old tyres as well? Because I want to go through these and pick out 
uh, you know, the, the best ones I can for the ST, the red edition ST line that I've got as well. Because uh, that one at the bottom, that's got loads of tread. This one's got loads of tread. So I just want to go through. These are not, this, these are not that, not that great, to be honest with you. So I probably won't be using them. But they are Michelin. Are they Pilot Sports? Yeah. Michelin Pilot Sport. But not a great tread on them, to, I'll be honest with you. So I won't, probably won't be using this one. But like I said, like I've got the tyres there and I can pick and choose for the best for the car. So, yeah. There we go. Right, let's, um, let's crack on. Let's keep doing it. Let's go. Right, guys, making some real progress now. So now I've dropped the oil. <clears throat> um, so we'll change that in a second for some of the, um, the Ford oil over there. You can see it. I've already got it. Um, 5W20. Um, so we'll do that. Done the oil filter, which is just up there. You see me do that. Uh, we've done the track rods and the ends. That's done. You can see the connections are just up there. A little bit tricky to get to those clips and squeeze but um yeah got there in the end the other one's up there you can see it it's all squeezed up so that's all done it's don't get me wrong i'm i'm pretty much sure that that's not tracked properly but it's enough to get me to the the tracking um center to get it tracked up and done correct um so yeah it's uh it's definitely getting there guys the headlights are on they're all working fine. All the bulbs are working fine, as they should do. So, ready again, I'm just checking things as I go before I take it for the MOT. Um, I've just cracked off these nipples at the front here on, on the actual calipers to make sure they're not seized, and they're not. As soon as I cracked it off, it started coming out. So, it's again, it started coming out all round. So, they're not. none of them are seized. The only one I think was a little bit blocked was this corner. Um, but now because i took it off and, and blew it through 
um, I blew some air through it as well, and then um, it uh, um, blew, blew some air through and it unblocked it. Sorry, I think I had a crush outside. I think they're moving some safes or something, and it just dropped. I've got to see if he's all right. Um, but yeah, just got to plug that back up, put the new oil in, um, and then that's the oil change done. Still got to do the cabin filter, so I'll do that as well, which is pretty quick. Not, not too bad, them cabin filters. So we'll change that over. Um, and then that's kind of the service done, but I've still got to get these, these brakes, the brake, brakes are bled. So I'm going to get a bottle onto here. I'm going to go and get someone to give me a hand in a minute. And we're going to connect that onto there. And then we're going to pump them, pump the brakes uh, whilst someone's in there. Keep filling it up here, making sure that just it keeps filled up. Um, and then we'll just, yeah, we'll just bring all the fluid through, fresh fluid on all the, all the pipes. And then that way, the actual bike brakes on the back and the front will be absolutely spot on. Um, with the new discs and pads and the new wheels, guys, this car, like I said, is going to be absolutely banging when I'm finished. Good clean, good polish, um, good service, no advisories. Um, and this will be a lovely, lovely little car for someone. So, yeah. Let's keep going for now. Got a bit more time. I'm, I just really want to get these wheels on today if I can. Let me go and get someone to give me a hand um, to do this bottle. Um, I don't think he was going to want me to film him, but we'll see what happens. You might see him, you might not. <laughs> so, um, yeah, bear with me, guys, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay, guys. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> they just look so good. Um, yeah, oh, God, sorry. This needs a bloody good clean, though. When, once this is all cleaned up, it's just going to, yeah, it's just going to really, really set this car off. Um, we ain't far from being complete, I'll be honest with you. We've just got to put a bumper on. Uh, sort the um, wheel arches out, put them in place, get the tracking done, um, and give it a good clean. I'll be honest with you, but yeah, really, really impressed. So um, I know, like, obviously, you go to if you go and buy, if you go and buy a second-hand car, um, the seller is not normally going to do what I've just done um, with the wheels and the tires. They're not going to do that. They just want to get it, get shot of it. I could, I could have possibly have sold the car with the alloys as it was and with the tyres as as they were as well. But I thought, do you know what? I just want to do that extra little bit for it, extra little bit that will just, yeah, just make it a lot more sellable and a lot more appealing to people that are interested in buying this type of car. Um, you know, that's why I wanted to keep it absolutely stock standard. No mods, nothing like that. I didn't want to do none of that stuff. I just wanted to make it presentable a lot, lot better. And my God, um, is it coming out well. I am absolutely chuffed with this. <laughs> really, really happy with it. So, but it still needs a good clean. We've still got to give it a good clean, guys. Um, I've got to do the air filter. Didn't do the air filter, so I've got to do that. Um and the cabin filter, and then that's the service done. And then just give it a good, good clean. So we've probably got one more video on this. Um, shall I try and book an MOT for tomorrow? I might see if I could get an MOT for tomorrow. We will see, it is Friday. I know the guy wants to leave, he leaves early Fridays. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, he just does. Um, but yeah, I don't know, let's, let's just see how we go. But for now, guys, that is going to be the end of today's video and the end of this part on the ST ST3, uh, Fiesta ST3. Uh, it's just, 
yeah, it's coming together really, really nicely. I'm super happy with it. As you probably can tell, you know, because of the way I'm talking. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Leave me a comment. What do you think about these alloy wheels and the tyres? It just... It's a no, for me, it's a no-brainer. It has to be done. Um, and I will always do it if, they, if they're needed. Do you know what I mean? And if the money's in, in the car. Um, I know I've probably gone over the top with this one when it comes to spending. Um, but it's just, yeah, I just had to do it, really. So there we go. Guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Um, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one.